if we talk about having children and guys probably who are in their 30s now thinking about reproduction and I get messages like this on a regular basis, these guys are wondering whether it is like 100% safe to have children while using finasteride or is it is there some optimizations they need to do because there are some sources telling them it's it doesn't matter. Some people tell like you got to get off of it for some time before. So uh, what, what is your opinion on that and what, uh, what are the results of your patients who maybe used finasteride while impregnating their partners? So finasteride is a class X drug. It is a teratogenic drug. It can cause developmental anomalies in the fetus. So it is not to be taken while you are attempting to start your family, while you are trying to make your partner pregnant. When you are when you're planning a family, you should stop this medication minimum 60 days before planning to conceive and even after you should keep it away from your partner because mere handling of this drug has been noted that it can cause uh, fetal abnormalities fetal anomalies so uh, people ask that finasteride half-life is just about six to eight hours so it gets out of the body in six to eight hours uh, no but your wife your partner can touch this drug and consume it, consume it unknowingly as well. So you would say it's safer to be off of it 60 days before and then during the pregnancy, if the wife is already pregnant, what would be your advice to men? Because they already probably want to get back on it since they want to keep their hair. So what, how, uh, how should they approach the, the safety of, of taking it during that time? See, as I told you that the half-life of 5-alpha reductase, which has already been inhibited by finasteride, is much longer 30 to 60 days so it will really not affect so much but even if it affects a little bit you should take it in your stride you should stop this medicine medicine 60 days before impregnating your wife before she can before she conceives and even later in her first trimester that is in the first three months you should not be having this drug at home you should dispose it off or keep it in your office so have you have you seen or have you read some some papers or some anecdotal reports when this was uh, maybe uh, not fulfilled and some 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 patients just used it not knowing that what can happen and uh, there were some issues as far as you know uh, disruptive No there is there is no paper on this but it is listed as a class X medication which should be avoided before planning a, a, a pregnancy Is it something that they that they state on the paper as well like the 60 day period or is it something that you recommend as a as a doctor i think on the merck um, paper they say that it should be stopped before uh, trying to conceive a child but the but the duration is not mentioned so it's good that we have at least some time frame for all of you watchers, uh, 60 days. That's what Dr. Bhatti suggests. And I think you have already probably suggested it to many of your patients as well, who used finasteride and then were able to make their wives conceive and, and the babies uh, came out healthy, right? Yes, yes. Another question, uh, staying still on topic of uh, conception and impregnation, uh, it will be fertility, because fertility is also a side effect that is being reported in some studies on finasteride and dutasteride. Uh, in dutasteride, it seems that fertility is being more severely affected. Uh, what was your experience like with, uh, with your patients? So did they have some issues with fertility while on finasteride? And then once they stop finasteride, the fertility markers got better as far as sperm motility, uh, sperm counts, and they were able to uh, conceive more easily. I have, I have not, Mr. Matt, ever encountered this problem because I have very certain, very strict uh, uh, criteria before I put the patient on finasteride. It's not a drug which is to be taken very lightly. So uh, I have very strict criteria and I have not come across any patient who's undergone testing and who's not been able to impregnate his wife and make her pregnant. The most important thing is to be in touch with your doctor all the time. I would probably still want to do a 
sperm test just before trying because many people don't do it and they try to uh, have a child with their wife or partner for many months and then they wonder why it's not working it's much better to do the sperm test before so you at least know that there is no issue with you and then your sperm volume and sperm uh, motility and morphology are are high high enough uh, and then you are pretty much good to go right 40 percent of men have low sperm counts and people blame it on finasteride Normal healthy men not taking finasteride who do not have hair loss have low sperm count. Yeah, it's a it's a really epidemic like with all of those microplastics and uh, all of those endocrine endocrine disruptors that are being found in in the food and in the environment uh, in the you know cosmetic products that we you use we used to clean our bodies and all those these things and then unhealthy lifestyle and all, all these factors can play a huge role and actually the trend uh, once I looked at the WHO statistics like the sperm counts are are the, uh, definitely like decreasing severely since like the 70s 80s since the baby boomer era and uh, it's it's not due to finasteride because finasteride has been approved only in the late 1990s uh, so it definitely the trend started already earlier than before and still continues uh, regardless of whether finasteride is being prescribed or not so if you get value out of this video make sure you give it a thumb up subscribe to the channel and once the whole interview will be available to watch i'm gonna put it right here so we can watch the whole podcast until next time.